There are two ways to rotate a video with the FFmpeg. The first way I'll demonstrate tells the player to rotate the video instead of re-encoding the video frames. The first way only changes the video metadata, not the actual content. Probably you should prefer this. The second way rotates by re-encoding the video content. The main disadvantage is losing quality. First, the metadata rotate way. For instance, ffmpeg-i source-c copy dash metadata colon s colon v rotate equals 90 output. Let's see it at 90, 180, and 270 degrees. Nautilus previews how the video will play. Notice that the rotate files are almost the same size as the input because only one piece of metadata changed, not the video frames. Not all video players will honor the rotate metadata, so you can re-encode the video like this. For instance, ffmpeg-i source-vf transpose equals 1 output. The possible values for transpose are 0, 1, 2, or 3. Here's the documentation for those values. Seeing them is a little easier, so let's try them all. Let's look again at the Nautilus previews. Notice that all four outputs are now portrait. And see that the file sizes have changed? That is because the video frames were re-encoded, losing quality. If you want to get back to landscape, you have to transpose twice. Here's what transposing twice does. Again, notice file sizes have changed, losing quality.